guys welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to review the dot os 5.2 and which is based on android 11 and you guys already know and this is the official version and before we start let me clear a few things and if you are searching for a perfect room like uh, battery backup and performance and gaming then this is gonna be the best one for you and i would like to share one thing you are searching for that then let me show you from the settings in about section you guys can see Android 11 and the build aid and which is a very latest security patch here you guys can see October 1 and the best band and kernel you guys already know the very latest lineage was passed and this is very capable kernel you guys already know and now let me show you. I will talk about every single details of that uh, use here and this is a kind of inspired from Android 12 and this is Android 11 but we have some features from Android 11 uh, Android 12 you guys can see here I already uh, using here the clock wizard and let me show you how can you guys uh, about this and you guys can uh, customize as you want so let me remove one and the press and hold then go to wizard and then customization so you guys can see here so many clock items here you guys can arrange and just press and hold and put on your home screen then you guys can customize it uh, yourself like this how many clock you want you guys can add uh, this is the single feature and now let me uh, show you the systems here is the gestures and this is a vanilla build this is not a gfs build so you guys need to download the google play store from uh, anywhere you guys can choose any but uh, my recommendation will be the second one uh, bit gaps and uh, open gaps and i will drop the link in the description as well and here you guys can see now first of all let me clear the battery backup performance uh, which is and this is a notification system you guys can see you guys, you guys will get the notification like this and here is the Geekbench score you guys can see 263 and 1051 which is uh, very decent for Android 11 and let me show you the CPU throttling I'm surprised you guys can see the 84% CPU throttle to maximum performance and I ran it for 5 minutes and then let me show some screenshot that I have captured for battery backup and at night you guys can see when uh, was 11 24 p.m. at night uh, I put my device in standby and you guys can see uh, Wi-Fi was turned on and the and the SIM card was enabled in 4G so after checking in the morning uh, at 11 7 a.m. so huge time gap in between but you guys can see here the battery drain is zero percent so you guys can get an idea how good is that so zero percent battery drain uh, after enabling the 4g and wi-fi so you guys can get a better idea and you guys can see here i'm using the play store of open gaps and i'll drop that link as well and let me show the safety net issue and by default we have safety net pass in that room so ran it and you guys can see it passed first of all after uh, installing the magic manager you guys can see just go to setting and enable that magic side and reboot your device then you definitely will be passed and by default we have those applications uh, like this is the music player and now i'll talk about settings some settings you guys can see here the customization stuff and they have uh, actually redesigned the system UI here customization you guys can change wallpaper like this and every color will change according to your wallpaper like this you guys can see the accent color and toggle colors you guys can change from here and you guys can use system colors as one and brightness level you guys can change and after the just scroll down just go to customization and scroll down you guys will get more setting option and then you guys will get all the customizations and AOD and lock screen is not for LCD display so that's why you guys will not get that feature but on status bar we have all the features uh, actually what we need so you guys can enable everything double tap to wake up and other system things like that so traffic meter you guys can see already working here and status bar display mode everything you guys will get the AM PM style you guys can increase like this so, and clock position you guys can change, left, middle and right section, 
and now let me show you the quick setting toggle here you guys can change the columns and rows as you want and quick settings we have uh, all the necessary systems here and finally we have app lock system here and uh, we have that option as well as in the security application you guys will get that app lock system you guys can app lock by your fingerprint or use pin whatever you want and we have that button gesture button feature you guys can have and system finally we have every single customizations what we need actually and navigation pillbar you guys can see here you guys can change it like this just make it and you guys can enable the music visualizer on your lock screen if you enable this one you guys will get that feature that's all the customization yes, options and now let me show you some interesting and you guys can change the font from here there are so many default fonts are available there and you guys can see here the grid option you guys can change the grid how many grid you want and you guys can enable showing cars and some cars you guys can enable this one and I don't need that that's why I turn on and the interesting feature is here the gaming dashboard you guys can enable this feature and quick control so you guys can see uh, when you play games you guys will get a floating window uh, like customizations of uh, screenshot screen record and don't disturb and let me show you that thing i have enabled this one on gallery application so you guys can see that floating window here you guys can take a screenshot like this and it will be gone and if you open it again and you will get that feature again so you guys can screen record from here directly if you want to and those are the features actually I've explained to you. And now let me show the uh, notification bar here. So uh, reading mode. And if you want to talk about nightlight, it's working pretty much fine. And the dark theme, everything is working. I didn't get any bug here, so no issues. And just enable the gaming mode from here, and then you, you are good to go. And you guys, uh, let me show you the last thing you guys can see from the. Android 12, you guys can see, they have, a, and we have by default the Google Camera Go, and you guys can use any Google Camera. I have already provided so many videos on that, and you guys can check out the description. And every single details I have already provided, and I played games for a long time, and I showed you the battery backup, which was really great, and performance is just awesome. If you uh, want to see the performance like this, and app opening and closing, no lag and start, or everything is just pretty much. Uh, smoother here you guys can easily use and let me show you the recent panel and if you want to use the uh, spread screen just click on the settings and you guys can use the spread screen like this and if you want to use two application at the same time and disable like this so uh, that's all for today guys and if you guys really like the video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further update